Hi, in this video we are going to create this screen in Unity 6, so let's stick around until the end. The first and the most important part is you need a height map or displacement map to generate your train. You can use many tools to generate landscapes. Uh, for example, I will use World Creator, you can use World Machine and other software. I don't want to dive into this uh, software, um, I just want to export this landscape, uh, this is the default one. Or you can click on this button to generate landscapes randomly. For example, this one works well. Next, go to the export section and then press on the add and height map. I only need uh, the height map for Unity. Press on the height map to open the settings and the settings are good. Don't modify it. And also, I should mention that Unity supports RAW format. Also, you can go back to the uh, train settings and change the precision uh, from 1 meter to 1 slash 4 meter to getting more resolution and details. The result is 4K. Next, uh, click on the export selected. Alright, this is the height map I exported from World Creator and I want to use it in Unity to generate the uh, landscape. You can download it from blackcave.com slash store. Alright, now press the game object and go to the 3D object and add a train. Here to generate uh, the landscape based on the height map we exported, I need to go to the train settings and here press the import raw button. Now select the height map and here we can see the resolution and import the map. Here we can see the map is imported and it's not good at all. Uh, we need to decrease the height. Here uh, we have some settings. For example, we can uh, change the width, length, and height. For example, change the width to 2000 and here length to 2000. And also uh, change the crane height to 180. That's good. Or we can pick another value. Right, the landscape is generated. Now we need to add colors to the tray. I'll use a free uh, Unity package called Procedural Train Painter that you can download it for free in Unity Asset Store. And also another free package called Train Demo Scene, which is a URP version is available as well. And you can download it from Unity Asset Store. This package includes textures, tree model, rock and so on. Now I need to add the uh, train painter component to one of these game objects. For example, I select a train and then press on add component and I need to search for train painter here. And then add it to the train. Here press the plus button and assign your uh, train to this field. You can assign other fields, it's an array, and apply the colors globally. Here I need to change the split map resolution to 1K, and also color map resolution to 1K as well. And then hit the recalculate bounds. Next, go to the layers, and we need to add color layers here. And we can manage them and add modifiers to them, change the orders of them, and so on. Here we have two options. First is to create uh, train layers, which is kind of material for trains with this button and selecting a base color texture. Or we can use pre-made train layers, which is available in the train demo scene. Let's add a pre-made uh, train layer. We have a lot of train layers here. For example, I want to make these areas uh, grassy in these areas 
rocky and these areas which is a slope another uh, rocky surface first let's select a grass layer for example this grass works well if i click on the grass b i can see the train layer attributes here we have diffuse or base color normal map mask map and other attributes you can modify as i said uh, this train layer is a kind of material for the train. The next thing I need to add is a rocky surface for these areas. Press the plus button and add a rocky surface. For example, cliffs. So, how should I limit this layer to these areas? I need something called modifier stack, uh, which is here. And I can press the plus button and uh, there are some uh, modifiers here for example curvature direction height which is need height for the scenario i'll introduce almost all of them first let's add height now we need to change the mean value as you can see the grassy layer is, is appearing right we can fade the grass layer uh, by adjusting the max fall of a mean fall of. For example, increase this and then increase the mean fall off. All right, good. Now I need to add another layer for the slope. Press the plus button and add this layer, for example. And here in the modifier stack, uh, add a slope modifier. And change the mean max. Also, uh, we can change the mean follow of and max follow to fade this layer. All right, that's good. We can add more details to the train. For example, let's add another grassy or dusty layer. This, this is good. Here, we want to use curvature modifier. We have error. I need to press the enable to activate the curvature modifier. Now I need to change the mean max and also uh, fall off to fade the layer. Curvature modifier applies the layer based on the holes on the surface. Now let's add another layer and apply it like a noise shape press the plus button and here this is a ideal layer but i don't want to override uh, these two layers so i need to change the order of this layer All right now press the plus button and add a noise modifier and we need to change the noise scale and levels. Here, let's modify the noise scale. And also the levels, uh, which is the intensity of the noise. All right, good. Next, let's add grass to the train. I will use uh, pre-made grasses, which is available in the train demo scene package. Uh, I need to go to the train and the grass settings and then press the edit details and uh, add detail mesh. Here, press this button and search for grass. There are a lot of grasses here. I, I'll use this. In the settings, I need to change the align to ground. To align the grasses based on the surface normal automatically. And also, I will change the uh, width and height of the grass later. 
press the add button. We have two options to add the grass to the train. The first one is to paint on the train manually, which is a time consuming process. As you can see, a lot of grasses has been appeared, but I prefer the second way. I write a custom script that you can download it from blackhip.com slash store. This will add grass to the train base on the layers. The only thing you need to do is to assign this script to one of the game objects in the scene. For example, main camera. I'll drag it and I need to configure something. In this list, I need to add grasses that I want. For example, in this grass list, I only have one grass, which it has the index of zero. If I add another grass, for example, this, this is one and so on. So I need to assign these indices to the uh, detail area indices. Here I need to press the plus button and assign uh, the index of the grass you want to add to the train. In the scenario, I want uh, the index of zero. I can add other grasses, for example, one, two. Uh, also, I need to add other grasses as well. The next is densities, which is the length of it should be equal to this list. Here I uh, insert 3000, for example. And the last option I need to assign is a selected texture index. If you navigate to this section, you can see all the layers you have on your train. Actually, this is an array system. For example, this is 0, 1, uh, 2, 3, and 4. I want to apply uh, the grasses for the grass B. So, I need to choose zero. And next, assign the train to this field. Now, play the game and you will see the grasses will be appeared. Now, stop the game and go near to the train. And you will see all these grasses. That's good. Now I need to change the width and hide the grass. Select the train and go to the grass list. And here, press the edit details and then edit. And change the main width and max width. For example, I will select 20 and 30. And also for the hide, uh, it's too high. I will use the same values. I have a problem here, and as you can see, the grasses are not green. You can use a volume profile to fix this issue. Let's create a, a global volume here in the volume and then global volume. And then press this button to search for a profile that is provided by this package global volume and you will see it fixed the main problem is this attribute which is the diffusion profile link you don't need to add these profiles manually and you just need to use the pre-made profile uh, which is provided by Train demo C. Let's adjust the grassy layer a little. Here, we need to change the cliffs. All right. Also, we need to adjust the uh, detail distance to fix this problem. Uh, as you can see, it's not good to appearing uh, this grasses like this. Go to the settings and in the detail distance. 
uh, increase this value. No, it's good. Adding more details, for example, volume that I explained it in detail in the tutorial here and also post pressing which i also uh, explained it in detail in the tutorial here you can make a more realistic and better scene thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel feel free to share your questions and ideas in the comments